wait. Joe, I know, I'll call Joe. No. Hey, Janice. Yeah. Do you know where Joe is? Joe's, today's Monday, he's working yeah. from home. He's teleworking today. He's teleworking? Teleworking. What's yeah. teleworking? Teleworking is when you get opportunity to work from home. Work from home? Yeah. I gotta learn more about this teleworking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi. I want to talk about teleworking. Oh, sure. Tell Absolutely. me more about teleworking. Do I qualify for teleworking? You might be a good candidate for telework. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm one of the attorneys, and I work primarily alone. I don't have any telephone calls, and I prepare documents. Mostly my supervisor is on email with me. Well, it does sound like you would be a good candidate. Let's take a look at our staffing, though. You know, sometimes to start the telework program, it's a good idea to start as an ad hoc teleworker. You know, I wouldn't want to work at home all the time and have to. It's more that I have things come up at home that I think it would be good to be for me to be at home to work. You know, I also occasionally have to work from home, and it's nice once in a blue moon to be able to do that. Sure, it would be convenient. We have internet service. How do I know what requirements I have to have in order to be able to work from home? Well, probably one of the best ways to start is to take a look on Insight at the telework web pages. Actually, with the E6500s that we all have on our desk, it provides us the capability to undock them pretty easily. I would recommend that you test and talk to the IT people, though, before your first day at telework. Um, there's a sample telework agreement on Insight, and what I'd like you to do is to read it carefully fill it out, and then we'll talk some more. You'll see that it explains about your voluntary participation in telework, about laying out a work schedule, or identifying this as an ad hoc telework agreement. Which would be just sometimes, right? That's right, sometimes. It also covers you in the event that we have unscheduled telework, let's say for a weather or an emergency. Sure. You can work at home on those days. And then we'll uh, both discuss it and we'll sign the telework agreement um, once we have it completed. That sounds like a plan. Okay, very good. Thank you. You bet. Ben, I'm interested in teleworking. Tell me what I need to know. My supervisor's all for it, but I have some questions about equipment. Okay, well, let's start off with what you actually need in order to telework. We have a VPN form. Thanks, Mr. Matthews. Here's our VPN agreement. This on here states that you have to fill it out completely. You have a signed telework agreement. You have to have functioning broadband, high-speed internet, have some sort of firewall protection for your home network. Once you get that all filled out, it forward to me and I'll create your VPN account. Once you get that information, turn it to Mr. Matthews. He will ensure that you had the proper training for VPN and uh, how to use your laptop. Well, there are a lot of steps, but it sounds like I have a lot of help to support teleworking, and I appreciate that. You do. You have us. You have uh, your local IT specialist. You have the help desk, and then you have the nationwide help desk. So, yes, you have plenty of support. Well, I'm going to take this list home right now and make sure that I have the equipment. Thank you okay. very much for explaining how to telework. Okay. okay. Happy telework. This is Angel. I'm down in the office today. I'm teleworking. I will return your calls when I return to the office on Monday. You can reach me on my cell phone at 202-202-202-04. Bye.
the telework. Oh, that's not good. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can only print to your office. You can't print to your local computer. I mean, uh, I cut my nails. You can call Nationwide Help Desk and the number is 1-866-578-3583. Watch me on my cell phone at 202-202-202-04. Bye.